Okay, Barak the Yahweh, Barak the Yahweh Shai, call Halayim la Yahweh by Shemia Shai, call Halayim la Yahweh by Shemia Shai, Shalom my Barakim, La Bakarim Shayasha Allah, Bashim Racha Kadash, Washani Kabag, Awala Wakwab, Zakonim Nawa Shayasha Allah. Alright, Brother Monagon here, coming back again to the power of Yahweh by Shemia Shai, the Most High, the Heavenly Father, whom we do worship and praise, and His Son, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, whom we also do worship and praise. Peace and blessings be upon the elect, uh, the nation of Israel, in the name of the, uh, in the in the name of the Holy Spirit. All right, and um, double honors to our elders and apostles who rule well in these times, known as Great Millstone. All right, this is going to be another Manachem Debarim, which means comforting words. Manachem means comforting in Hebrew, and Debarim means words. All right, and the, and the Manachem Debarim that I want to focus on is Chayatha. Hayatha Hayawa, which means ye shall live. All right, um, because in times past and our past reincarnations, um, I, I'm, I'm pretty much sure that a lot of us got put to death in uh, some very, very gruesome ways. All right, so in the times coming, all right, the, um, I believe that a lot of us, all right, are gonna receive life. You know, we may not be put to death. Um, in ways that we were in the past all right we might not suffer we may, maybe we may pass on but we may not suffer you know what i mean the lord is going to give us life so, you know so the comforting words is uh uh haya tha hayaya all right and i got some precepts just to bring some, forth some more comforting um about this uh this phrase so i want to start in wisdom solomon the third chapter with the first verse i'm going to read down some it says but the souls of the righteous are in the hand of the Most High, and there shall no torment touch them. That's a promise right there. You got to believe these words, all right? Let it sink into your spirit. In the sight of the unwise of the rest of the world, they seem to die. And their departure, departure is taken from misery. <clears throat> and they're going from us to be utter destruction, but they are in peace. For though they be punished in the sight of men, Yet, all right, yet is their hope full of immortality. And that's that life, all right? That's that chaya, which means life. Now, this is the preset where I actually got it from, all right? All I did was go on Blue Letter and type in, ye shall live, okay? Now, we have to live according to the Spirit, though. And that's how we receive our life, pursuant to what Paul said here, Romans 8 and 12. Therefore, brethren, we are debtors not to the flesh, to live after the flesh all right that's that old man like it says in colossians you gotta mortify all right because we're dead in yahweh shy for if ye live after the flesh ye shall die but if ye live through the spirit do mortify the deeds of the body chaya tha chayawa all right ye shall live all right which basically when you look at it chaya means shall and then you have tha, which means thou or ye. Chaya. Matter of fact, I think I have it here. Yeah, let me pull this up. So this is the preset, Romans 8 and 13, okay? This is the end of it, the precept here. You have ha, ya, and uh, ha. All right? Then it says, and then there's a tha, a cha, and then a ya, and then a wa. So this is haya, tha, chayawa, which means shall thou live all right or ye shall live and that's what that's saying there all right but the only way that's going to happen is if what if we mortify the deeds of our bodies and live through the spirit okay now i want to get this in james as well another aspect of this of how we're supposed to um of live all right dealing with life our true lives james 4 and 14 uh let me start at 13 Go to now ye that say today or tomorrow we will go into such a city and continue there a year and buy and sell and get again. That's basically like making plans, all right? You know, foreshadowing things that you that we don't don't know that are certain. That's why the next verse says this, whereas ye know not what shall be on the morrow. For what is your life? It is even a vapor that appeareth for a little time and then vanisheth away. For for that ye ought to say, if the Lord will, we shall live and do this or that. 
So I pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, Lerat Tazawa, and Bashim Rachak Kadash, most high in the name of the Son, to the will of the Holy Spirit, that we shall live, man. And that right there is Wana Chaya, which means and we live, all right, or but we live. Wana Chaya. So that's another mana Dabar of comforting words, man. We got to believe that, man. All right, Wana Chaya, or Hayatha Chayawa, which means we shall live and ye shall live. So to the elect out there, I hope this is comforting. All right, I got a couple more precepts here. Because even in death we live, okay? Revelation 12 and 10. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is salvation and strength in the kingdom of our power and the power of his anointed Hamashiach. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our power, Allah now a day and night. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. And by the word of their testimony, which is the prophecy, and they love not their lives unto death. Now, part of that prophecy, actually, now I'm thinking about it, is this right here. All right? Because Yahweh Shai was a prophet. I mean, this is what he said to his men. All right? Because here it says, uh, uh, they overcame him by the blood of the lamb meaning the accuser of our brethren these these edomites all right this little wicked that's in rule and by the word of their testimony all right and part of our testimony is what yahweh shah told us he said unto them mark 9 and 1 very last saying to you that there be some of you some of them that stand here which shall not taste of death till they have seen the kingdom of the most high with power come with power all right and that's talking about that salvation are what John the Revelator was seeing here. Okay, so there were some of them that didn't taste of death. All right, but some of them, they, it says what? And they love not their lives until death. Why? Because our lives are hidden in Yahweh Shai. Even in death, that's where the victory is because then we get to be with Yahweh Shai. Okay? But that's it's more needful for us that we live down here. The longer we're here and mortify our members, the more... The Most High Yahweh Bashim Yahushua perfects us, all right, and not Chaya, all right, which means we live. Next, I want to get First John three and sixteen. Hereby perceive we the love of the Most High, because He laid down His life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for our brethren, all right. So, and that's that's honorable, man. All right, that is an honorable honorable way to uh, go down and I always tell brothers in the, in the church here the camp here that if they lined all of us up I know that I'd be ready to go down all right for the name of how about Shema Shah and for my brethren man if it comes to it because there's life in that Hayatha Hayawa ye shall live I believe that I firmly believe that in my spirit and, and in my so-called heart of hearts all right this is another reason because this is something I knew that was going to come with this. And we all have to understand this as well, too. What Yahweh Shah said, John 12 and 12. John, I'm sorry, John 12 and 25. He that loveth his life shall lose it. All right, that's his life in this world. And he that hateth his life in this world. Slocky, I jumped the gun. Let me go back. Got a little excited in the spirit. All right, it says, he that loveth his life shall lose it. And he that hateth his life in this world shall keep it unto life eternal. So that's how we know that when it says he that loveth his life is talking about in this world. Because it goes straight to and he that hateth his life in this world shall keep it unto life eternal. And that's what we want. All right. We want that chaya awalam. All right. Which means life. I'm sorry. Chaya awalamium. All right. Which means life eternal. All right, and that's what we're hoping for because we know and we should be believing in these comforting words that were left unto us. All right, the main one being this right here, that if ye through the Spirit do mortify a, a Baruch HaKadosh, do mortify the deeds of the body, ye shall live. All right, and that is the comforting words of Manacham Debarim. Haya, meaning shall, Tha Chayawa, means ye live all right ye shall live and we shall live uh, you all right so i hope this was comforting to the elect of israel i want to say peace and blessings be upon you you know and uh, you know keep this in mind no matter what we may face and come across all right na chaya all right we shall live all right ye shall live 
and double honors to our elders and apostles of great millstone, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Barakatham Bashim Rachakadash unto them, and we'll say Shalom.